All right, guys, welcome back from break. Today we are going to be starting a new unit on quadrilaterals, and we are going to start with some facts about polygons. Okay, so what are you going to learn today? You're going to learn about convex and concave polygons. You're going to learn the different parts of a polygon. You're going to learn how to find the sum of the angles of a polygon and what an interior and exterior are. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, a polygon is just simply a closed geometric figure. It's all it is, with at least three sides. Okay. Um, we have two different kinds of polygons, a convex and a concave. The concave, I think, is the easiest to remember because part of its side is caved in. The official definition would be that all of its diagonals are, or one or more of its diagonals are outside of the polygon. So this is a concave polygon, like one of the sides are caved in. A convex, all of the diagonals of a polygon are inside the polygon. Okay, sorry if my lines aren't straight, but you guys should be used to that by now. Unless stated, we are going to assume that things are convex polygons. Okay, we don't do a lot of these properties don't apply to concave. So unless stated in directions, we're assuming that they are convex. Okay. In a polygon, the vertex is just the corners, basically. So these two points right here are vertices. Okay. A diagonal goes from one vertex to another. So this would be a diagonal, but it's a straight line, not a squiggly little line like I've drawn. Okay. One vertex to another. Okay. An interior angle would be angles inside the polygon. So like the interior angles of a triangle are inside. So are the polygons. So that's your interior angle. And then your exterior, we extend a side. And the angle formed between the side and the extension of the other side is your exterior, just like in a triangle. Okay, so those are just some vocabulary that you need to know for polygon. You also need to know the different names for the polygons. Ms. Hogan went over them with you. Okay. So you need to make sure you know 1 through 10, or there is no 1 through 10, 3 through 10, and number 12, a dodecagon. Okay. So you need to know those vocabularies. I'm not going to teach that. You need to look that up on your own. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of show you a little exploration of a triangle or a polygon that hopefully will help you um, <clears throat> remember some of the rules. All right, so if I look at, <clears throat> one of the ways we look at those is we look at the triangles that are made by breaking up the polygon. So when I look at a triangle, it just makes one triangle in it, basically. And so, and we know from our chapter on triangles that the sum of the degrees of its angle is 180 degrees. Okay. When I look at a um, four-sided polygon, if I just pick one of my diagonals and connect it to another one, that gives me two triangles. So it should make sense that the sum of the degrees of that is 180 plus 180 or 360 degrees. So I've got four sides, two triangles. If I've got five sides from one of my diagonals, I can draw two different diagonals and that gives me three triangles. And so I've got three triangles, so that should add up to 540 degrees. 
If I go to a polygon with six sides, I've got four triangles. And if I add up all the sums of all those triangles, that's going to give me 540 plus 180. And you guys know I'm using my calculator because you know me. It's going to give me, not that, 720 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of a six-sided polygon is 720 degrees. So if you look at the pattern here, you notice that the number of triangles is always two less than the number of sides. So we can write that just represented by n minus two. And then basically all I've done then is multiply the number of those triangles or n minus two times 180 degrees. And that's how I can find the sum of all the interior angles inside a polygon. A regular polygon is just a polygon with all sides and all angles congruent. So a square is a regular polygon. An equilateral triangle is a regular polygon. All of my sides are congruent. All of my angles are congruent. Square, of course, all of those angles are going to be right. So, <clears throat> Ah, there's my mistake. I knew there was a typo somewhere on here, and I found it. All right. So, 180, 360, 540, 720. I don't know if your chart is messed up, um, but just take a look. So, now it makes sense that if I have n minus 2, 180 to find the sum of all of those angles, one angle inside of a regular polygon is just going to be that sum divided by the number of sides. So one interior angle of a regular polygon, three-sided is going to be 60, four-sided is going to be 90, five-sided is taking that 450 and dividing it by five, or the 540, dividing it by nine, and I'm gonna get 108 degrees, and then taking the 720 dividing that by 6, that's going to give us 120 degrees. So we've taken that n minus 2 times 180 and we've divided it by the number of sides. So there is a formula for that. I'm going to actually start with the sum of an exterior angle. So if I have a triangle, and here's one exterior angle. This would be the other one from here to here. And then here to here would give me three. Okay. If I've got a square, there are all my exterior angles. If I have a pentagon, here are all my exterior angles. Notice that I'm going and I'm going around in a circle. That means that the sum of all of my exterior angles is going to be 360 degrees. So no matter how many sides a polygon has, the sum of their exterior angles is going to be 360 degrees. In a regular polygon, we can also find the inside angles or one of them. And it's quite simply 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. So for a triangle, it's 60. For a quadrilateral, it's going to be 90. For a pentagon, it's going to be 72 degrees. For a heptagon, it's going to be your hexagon. Ooh, I'm losing it. You guys know that, though. You're used to that. 60 degrees. So all we're doing is we're taking 360 degrees and then we're dividing it by the number of sides. Of course, if you know what one of the interior angles is, because they lie in a line, you just need to subtract that from 180 degrees. All right, so here I'm just gonna pull out these 
theorems or for formulas. They're actually theorems that you need to know. So the sum of the degrees of the interior angle is n minus 2 times 180, where n is the sides. One interior angle of a regular polygon is n minus 2 times 180, all divided by n. An exterior polygon, the sum of all of them is 360 degrees, no matter how many sides. And then one regular interior angle is 360 divided by the number of sides. So those are kind of summing up what you need to know. So now I've got these polygons and I want to find the value of x. My first example here, there are five sides. So we know that it is going to, we're going to do 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 times 180 is 540. So we know that the whole sum of this is 540. If I were to add up, and I mark them off as I go because otherwise I forget. Um, or I just pick and go clockwise. I've got 100 degrees plus 110 plus 92 plus 84, and that's going to be 386. So, and then we've got X as the fifth angle. So when you add all of those up, it should be 540. And so we know that X in this case, by subtracting it, is going to be 154. In the second example, all of my angles are exterior. So they add up to 360 degrees. So if I add up what I have, I have two X's. And then 20 plus 112 plus 96 is 231. And so just a real simple two-step equation. If I subtract 231 from both sides, I'm going to get negative 120. 29. That's going to equal 2x. So if I divide by 2, I'm going to get x equal to 64.5. All right. So I caught myself before you guys did, all right? When I add up those numbers, it's actually equal to 228. <laughs> so when I go to solve that two-step equation now, I'm going to get negative, or I'm going to get 132 equals 2x. And when I divide by 2, I'm going to get 66. So x is 66. All right, a couple more examples. Real quickly, find the measure of an exterior angle of a regular poly 18 gun. Exterior, sum of all of them is 360, so this is just 360 divided by 18, which should be 20. And so the measure of one exterior angle is of an 18 gun is 20. If I had asked also what the interior angle was, I could just subtract that and from 180, and I would get 160 degrees for an interior. All right, last example. What kind of polygon has an interior angle that measures 135 degrees? So you could use the formula 135 equals um, 180 times n minus 2 all over n. And you guys know how to solve that. I'm not going to go ahead and solve that for you because it, if you use your intuition, if I have an interior angle of 135 degrees, its corresponding exterior angle would be 45 degrees. So why would I want to do that? Well, it's a lot easier to do 360 divided by 45 than it is to solve that several step equation. 360 divided by 45 is 8. So that would be an octagon. Right, now I could solve that by 
multiplying both sides by n, so I get 135n equals 180n minus 2, <clears throat> minus 360. Okay, and I could solve that equation. Either way works, whichever you're comfortable with. <clears throat> so what did you learn today? Hopefully today you learned a whole bunch of polygon vocabulary and you, formulas and you used how to apply them to find sums. Have a great day.